Hello everyone, we're back with video number two where we will cover receiver setup for the Vortex. Just a reminder before we get started, not to have any servos plugged into the Vortex yet. The only things that you should have plugged into the Vortex are the sensor and the connections for your particular receiver type. Okay, If you're using Spectrum satellites, you'll want those connected. Uh, if you're using a different receiver type, you'll want the patch cables that came with your Vortex connected between your receiver and the left side of the Vortex. That's the same side the sensor is on. On the right side, the only things that you should have plugged into it are the data pod and your power source. Um, do not attempt to connect a power source to the other side uh, where the sensor is located, only on the data pod side. So um, once you've got that ready, then we can go ahead and power up our radio system. In uh, this video, I'm going to leave my radio system powered off right now, just for purposes of the video, because I'm going to show you a couple things. But um, So I will power on the Vortex right now separately. Okay, it will come to the home screen right there. Um, some minor information, uh, input voltage, things like that. Um, we don't have to pay attention to this screen right now. What we want to do is get to the receiver setup screen. So there's three buttons on top here. We will press the S button. That's this one. That gets us into some uh, different menus. We do not want the rotor menu. So uh, we will select the option for next. Press S. And keep pressing S until we get to setup. Now we'll use these buttons here to scroll down. Get to receiver. We will select that. Now this is where you select your receiver type. So whatever you have set up on your helicopter, be it a standard receiver, um, and that's a receiver like a AR-7000, AR-8000, those types of receivers that are totally separate from the Vortex, um, you will select standard as your receiver type. If you're using a Fataba system, an SBUS uh, receiver, you will select that. If you're using a PPM type, that's what you'll select. And if you're just using uh, Spectrum satellites, you will use one of these two options. But let me just go into the standard receiver type and show you what's involved when you select that. Okay, so if you have a standard receiver, go ahead and press S here. And you can see that your receiver has just been set up. Um, the Vortex does not need to know anything about channel assignments when you're using a standard receiver. So if that's the case with you, then your receiver setup is done. Um, you do not have to watch uh, any more of this video unless you want to. And basically you're ready to go on to transmitter setup. But for everybody else, we need to get back into the receiver menu. And let's just say, for instance, um, you're using an SBUS receiver. So we'll go ahead and select that, and you'll see what happens here. It gets to a channel assignment screen. Basically what you need to do is go through each of these steps here to tell the Vortex what channel your transmitter is using for aileron, elevator, rudder, etc. So let's just assume that uh, your transmitter uses channel number one for aileron. If, if that's the case, you will press S. Now the Vortex wants to know which channel you're using for elevator. If that's number two, um, select number two. If it's not, just use these buttons over here to go to whichever channel it is in your transmitter that operates the elevator channel. Okay, if it's number two, select yes. It will keep going through the different um, controls, rudder. It will go through pitch, throttle, and gyro. Um, whatever channel your transmitter uses to control those functions, that's what you need to select when you get to the proper channel, press S. Okay, there, uh, you've accomplished channel assignment. PPM is the same thing. It will run you through uh, channel assignments just as it did with SBUS. In my case, I'm going to use um, satellite receivers and you have two choices here. You have DSM-2 and DSM-X. Now, these are not the type of radio system you have, rather the type of satellites. So um, I am using DSM-2 satellites, so I'll select that option. Now you have the option to bind the satellites. Um, if you're on a brand new setup, yes, you want to bind the satellites. 
If you've found them already and some for some reason you're back into setup, maybe you want to change um, your gyro channel assignment, you would go back into here and you would check to not bind them. But in this case, I'm going to switch over to the two satellite option because that's what I'm using. And I'm going to press the S button and watch what happens here. Basically what it did, as you can tell by my satellite receiver here, is it put the system into bind mode and now it says waiting for the satellite receivers to initialize what it's waiting for is my transmitter to come on with the bind function so I'm gonna do that right now and press the bind button on my transmitter power it up waiting for the receivers to initialize you've seen they've just done that and bind complete so from here um, all I have to do is press S now it gets on with channel assignments just as it had with SBUS. In this case, they should all be preset. For instance, um, spectrum channel assignment um, is aileron is number two. That is correct, so I'm going to press S to verify that. Elevator is in fact channel three. Rudder for sure is channel four. The pitch channel, that is aux one. For sure, that's channel number six. I'm going to press S. Throttle channel is in fact number one. I'll press S again. And the gyro channel. This is where um, the previous discussion about um, the flight mode selection comes into play. Um, if you're using your gyro sense or gyro menu to control uh, the flight mode switch or, or have the two linked, you will press that. If you're using the AUX2 channel for some reason, um, depending upon how you wanted to set it up, all you would do then is cycle on over to channel 7, aux 2, and verify that. But in my case, I'm using the gear channel with the governor menu on my radio, so I will select the gyro channel to use um, channel number 5, which is gear on my radio. Press the S button, and it's done. It goes back to the, the uh, main receiver menu. So that's your indication that your receiver setup is done. And from there, you can either power off, take a break, or you can go right into transmitter setup. In order to do that, all you have to do is go down here with this plus button to transmitter and click S to um, get into the uh, transmitter setup screen. But I'm going to take a quick break and um, get everything ready to go for the uh, transmitter setup video and um, I will see you there that is video number three we will cover transmitter setup um, at this point if you're going to power off um, I like to do it by exiting the setup menu so um, go back up to next press S and it gets you back to the home screen and now you can power off your system all right so, receiver setup was pretty simple. Um, you will see in transmitter setup, we will have a lot more fun with the data pod and with your transmitter. You're going to see how easy this whole setup is. And um, after that, we'll get on with the um, uh, rotor and the tail setup. And the next thing you know, you're going to have your bird in the air. So, see you at the next video.